This week, Ted Cruz fired his communications director, Rick Tyler, after the staffer posted a message on Facebook saying that Marco Rubio disparaged the Bible. As the story went, Rubio came across a Cruz campaign worker holding a Bible, and he pointed to it and said there are, quote, not many answers in it. The truth, as anyone could see in the actual video, was that Rubio said to that person, the Bible has all the answers in it. And it makes sense for Marco Rubio to praise the Bible, since him and Ted Cruz are both battling it out for evangelical votes right now in the Republican primaries. Plus, it would have been pretty idiotic of Rubio to trash the Bible in front of a Ted Cruz campaign worker and Ted Cruz's preacher father, both of whom were in that same location. But it's too bad he didn't say that the Bible contains not many answers, because he would have been right. You know, Christians love to say the Bible has all the answers, but all the answers seem to have equal and opposite rebuttals. Love your neighbor? Oh, I can find you passages that say we should put gay people to death. Blessed are the poor? Not according to all those prosperity gospel preachers who quote the Bible to defend their wealth. You're also not going to find much quality science in the Bible. Or history. Or math. If you do find anything of value in the Bible, if you do find answers in the Bible, it's usually because of what you bring to it, not what you're taking from it. So, Phantom Rubio was right. The Bible doesn't have all the answers. Unfortunately, the Rubio who's actually running for office thinks the Bible does have all the answers. Leave it to Ted Cruz to fire someone on his staff for posting a religious message I could have actually been on board with. My name is Hemant Mehta, and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. What do you want to see a video about? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll be sure to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe.